So this is a shed I've been building um, for a little while here now. Uh, just bring it over there. Um, <laughs> so I'll have to fix that now. I'll put a little bit of glue there and I'll hold it in there. And you can so open and close it. Be easier than where it is there then. Um, the door is much better. Uh, it's just a small shed I built um, because I'm finishing off this house and um, I wanted another white building to go with the house. So that it looked like it was built along with the farmhouse. Um, it's just an old shed I put together. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, red parts. Don't worry, I haven't broken any of my sheds up. Um, it's just I was painting those sheds and uh, if you have some paint left over, instead of washing it down the sink, I just grabbed out a load of some of these um, pieces and just painted them and just used the paint, you know, and, and then it came in useful when I was painting these. I'm going to paint these red as well, so, you know, I'll just... Uh, it'd be a good idea. The whole thing's um, done out now, and uh, I'm very happy with it so far. I haven't painted the inside. The whole concrete floor will have to be put in. Walls will be white, and then I'll have red doors and red roof. And I may put a gutter on it, a grey gutter, gutter, and a and a and a and a, and a uh, barrel here or something, just to give it more detail and have a couple of tracks going out of the shed or something. This shed's the better one um, of these two, as you can see. I put them on at separate times. That's just the inside there now. Nice and calm, nice and collected, you know, just I paint the inside the shed and stuff and um and I'll close both of them open. Uh, that's our old door, I wasn't the grass. I'll just fix that up actually and uh, fix the little notch and then it'll be as good as the other one. I know it's not the best. The iron looks a bit twisted, but just it looks a bit distorted in a good way for a bit more detail, you know. Um and um hope everything goes to plan with this shed. Um, so I'll show you with a tractor now. So I'm just after getting the 3050 here, trusty 3050, um, and it just fits nice and snug into the shed. You can see there's just enough clearance for it to, to clear the beacon there, and uh, she'll fit in there nice, nice and comfortable. And um, hopefully I'll get a time lapse of me painting this up. And um, yeah, so right. So, finished off painting the shed a lot. I'm gonna, gonna actually go over a touch up. Um, as you can see, if, uh, in the time lapse, I did paint a good bit of red paint to hit the, the walls. I wasn't able to get this back out. Uh, if the um, oh, if this if the wall white wall was finished and dried, I would have wiped it off, you know, quite straight away. But I'm just gonna have to layer it over with white paint when it's all dry. Um, same goes for a bit of the panels on the ground. Or the cement floor, um, but the doors overall are pretty well, and I'm very happy with the shed overall. It's only a quick project, and um, it's nearly finished. Uh, the big scale, and then I'm going to start putting gutters on it, the gutter down the side, and then a barrel or something, just to give it a bit more depth. But the far side was lot was a very easy job, um, and uh, to match up this color with this, not look out of place. So I've got on pretty well with the shed, um, and now it's finished uh, in the long long term. Um, it came on pretty well, and it's sitting pretty nicely on where I placed it on the farm. It turned out to be a great uh, machinery shed for smaller, uh, not smaller, but a uh, medium medium sized tractor like the likes of my uh, John, uh, Massey Ferguson six sixteen six six sixteen could not fit in the shed, uh, but the likes. Of the 3050 and all the other tractors could fit in it so 
is turned into be a great shed and um, it goes a great comparison between the rest of the sheds being uh, red as well and just to give that a bit more um, realism to it um, and to finish off this video I've uh, as you can see in the background there behind the 3050 my trusty 3050 I'll show you it now um, I've uh, the, I've I've uh, built a piece of equipment for the back of it. Uh, plenty of equipment can go into this tractor, but I just thought, um, because this bucket uh, I'm built, um, uh, is not actually going to be mine for long. Um, I built it in the tension of actually giving it to a, to a friend, and um, it's going to a good home. It's going to the same home uh, where I've got the, where I received the thirty fifty in the first place, and uh, I was so happy with my, the model tractor and. Um, the fact they have a model of this tractor, which are of their actual tractor, they have the, one of these in real life, in in a full sized one. So I just thought, uh, but they have no equipment, uh, models of the equipment they use on the real one. So I thought, why why not make one of the uh, pieces of equipment they use in the back of their thirty fifty for them? Um, so I measured it up and. It works pretty well and very, very well proportioned with the 3050 itself. So overall, I'm very happy with it. Um, it came along. I fitted a hydraulic hose um to it, as well as um a little frame. This bucket in real life was kind of it's kind of like a front loader. The bucket itself can tilt without adjusting the arms on the back of the tractor or the linkages. Um, but in this one, you'll have to I'll have to compromise on that sort of thing. Um, and then. Uh, to represent the hydraulic hose, I have um, a copper cylinder in it, glued glued in, and um, I'm very happy with this model. And um, hopefully, in the they'll they'll really they really they'll really like it. Um, I know this is a very funny way of uh, concluding a building project, but uh, there you go. Um, so overall, um, I'm very happy with the overall results of both projects, uh, the piece of equipment and the shed. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you had, please leave a like and uh, leave a comment down below if you want to. Uh, any suggestions or whatever or questions you want to ask me. And um, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next one. Alright, good luck.